it just has a vibe that you feel like you're walking into 1960 Hollywood. What makes the Polo Lounge so unique is that it is literally the last of its kind. You know, you've got booth one, which is where Charlie Chaplin always sat. Marilyn Monroe is booth six. It's amazing that you have the connection to old Hollywood, uh, and then you have the new Hollywood coming in and loving it and using it just as much. Back in the 40s, Beverly Hills decided it wanted to be a Polo playing community. Beverly Hills Hotel was the very first place they could buy alcohol before they headed back home. So they'd all come here, they'd tell their wives, oh, we're just gonna go, we'll be at the polo club, we'll be at the polo lounge after the game. Uh, and so the wives didn't know that they were here. And then they'd drink till all hours, stagger out, hop on their horses and head back home. So the bungalows are very unique. Um, the uh, bungalow that was influenced by Marilyn Monroe where she said she had her absolute favorite Christmas in her life here in the bungalow. She was all set to be alone on Christmas and Joe DiMaggio, her husband at the time, had to go to San Francisco. And so she was coming back from work and she was depressed and she was gonna be alone on Christmas. And what Joe DiMaggio had done was had flown back early, uh, arranged with the staff to put a Christmas tree in the room, bought her a ton of presents, had the fireplace going, and the two of them had a romantic uh, Christmas. And she told, she repeated it frequently, it was the happiest Christmas of her life. But what it does have is the most history. It became Frank Sinatra's favorite room. Uh, you have the bar, you have the piano, uh, and Frank would host his all night parties in here with the Rat Pack. So you'd have uh, Dean and Frank sitting at the bar, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. on the piano, and it just has such a unique history. And people check into this and really feel that vibe.